Okay guys, so we traveled almost halfway between Dallas and New York, and this has been the thing I've been looking forward to most. It's been years and years since I've been to Ruby Falls, but we are here now at the giant castle, the, this huge cave carved in the side of Lookout Mountain, and the most amazing thing about it is a waterfall in the middle of the mountain. So some of you might be, I like waterfalls, and some of you might be, I like mountains. Well here, you get two in one. So we're gonna go in inside. We've got a private tour lined up just for you guys, just for Geek Beat. And we're gonna go inside the mountain and learn all about it and check it out. Come on, let's go inside. We gotta take an elevator to get down to the cave and it's here, so come on, let's go. Hey, by the way, guys, that's Micah. He's our guide. Hello. Our guide extraordinaire. Extraordinary. Yeah. How far down are we going? 260 feet. What if we're claustrophobic? Too bad. All right, guys, we're in the cave. What's a, it's, it's a nice temperature in here. 60 degrees year-round. 60 degrees, but it's about 2,000% humidity? Not 2,000. <laughs> about 99% humidity. Okay. Uh, do they still call it caving? Spelunking, is, spelunking? The, is the correct word. Oh, okay. Somebody told me once that I couldn't call them spelunkers anymore. I had to call them cavers or something like that. Oh. I have no idea, but that word's way better than caving, so. Yeah, yeah. Spelunk has a nice sound to it. I like it. A nice roundness. As we walk, we're, we're walking into this cave, but technically, aren't we walking into like the middle of a mountain or something? Yes, we are. Uh, we're actually getting deeper underground the further we walk because the mountain top is rising above us right now. What mountain so, is it? Lookout Mountain. Sweet. Mm -hmm. So uh, how far do you think, how deep are we? You said when we came down the elevator, we came down like 200 and... 260 feet. 260. And as we walk, I don't know, right now we're probably at like 400, 450, but by the time we get to the end, we'll be 1,120 feet underground at the elevator. 112 floors, so that's roughly the size of the Empire State Building in New York City. Is the so, only way in and out that one elevator shaft? Uh, it was up until the mid-70s. Uh, that's when the elevator broke one time and a whole bunch of people got stuck down here overnight <laughs> uh, until they fixed the elevator. So after that happened, a man named Mr. Osha uh, yeah. told us we needed an emergency exit. So we added an alternate exit. So there's an extra 1,000 feet past the elevator now, and that takes uh, you out to the surface as well. Nice. That is the only other way out. How do you like uh, walking through the cave with a super bright LED in your, in your face? It's excellent. It's a, it's a new experience, isn't uh, it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. I love it. So how long did it take for this cave to get formed anyway? Uh, they estimate it to be about 30 million years old. They had to come through and blast the whole cave out with dynamite. The guy that found this place had to crawl seven hours on his stomach before he got to a place where he was able to stand up. Sweet. Leo Lambert. Oh, yeah, Actually, not a, sweet. There's a cool stalactite right there. All right, how, what's the one. difference between a stalactite and a stalagmite? A stalactite grows down from the ceiling, or it holds uh, tightly to the top, mm. is how I was taught in elementary school. And then there are stalagmites, which grow up from the ground like that, and those might reach the ceiling. They might. But you also said stalactite. Yes. It's a stalactite it's a, and a stalagmite, exactly. right? Exactly, yes. Stalactite has a C in it. Stalagmite has a Why did they do that? I have no idea. Okay. Cool. One of the weird things of uh, English language, I guess. Don't touch the formations? Actually, you can touch that one. But when you touch them, doesn't it kill them or something? Yes, it leaves behind oil, and that's why this formation looks so shiny. Mm. It's because millions of people have touched this since uh, uh, when this place opened in the 30s. So um, that's why it looks so shiny. You're not supposed to touch them. That will stunt their growth. Uh, that's why this is the only one we let people touch in here. And that's why it's so shiny. And it's right in the path. And it's right in the path. That's also a big uh, it, factor. It's kind of like Happy Buddha. You rub it, yes. like rubbing the belly Delicious. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And then it's good uh, luck. So yeah, millions of people have touched that. So it means there's millions of germs <laughs> on it as well. Nice. Wash your hands when you get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes stalactites and stalagmites will grow together, and those are called columns. 
That's a very small one. We'll see a great big one later, about halfway through. Hey guys, here's the north end of a southbound donkey, or vice versa, whatever. It's wet over here. Yeah, because this part of the cave is still growing. I think and it just grew on my head. Uh, it's good luck, usually. Okay. Everything that's wet is still active. So what's the difference? What, what do you mean if it's active? What's, I mean, it's not passive aggressive? What's the deal? <laughs> If it's wet, that means it's still growing, an active formation. Oh, okay. How fast do they grow? Um, roughly one cubic inch every 150 years. Oh, yeah, I'll wait around for that. Yeah, yeah. You'll uh, definitely notice some, some growth over the time you'll be down here, definitely. It's nice and quiet in here. Yeah, it's really kind of weird to be down here by yourself because everything echoes. It's kind of spooky. True. Yeah. Hey, there's water down here. What's the deal with the water? Is it clean? Because, I mean, it gets filtered through all the rocks and stuff, right? Um, maybe. I probably wouldn't drink it, though, for the same reason you don't drink straight out of a creek or a stream. There's no telling what might actually be in there. All right, this is the one of the biggest and oldest formations down here. Uh, it's the largest column down here as well. Uh, and one of the oldest formations. They think it's about five million years old or so. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and you can see different kinds of minerals on it. The sort of reddish brown is iron oxide, and then the white is calcium. So if you guys feel you have a deficiency, go ahead and lick that if you want to. Nice. That's uh, good for you. Good, good. It's, it's old like my dad. <laughs> Hey, that one looks kind of like Norm. Okay. Because they're very thin, sort of like a curtain, sort of. It looks like some of them are broken off and they're kind of crystally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are it's all made out of crystallized limestone, basically. Uh, and uh, a lot of them have broken off because when this place opened in 1930, they gave unguided tours. So people would come down and they would break formations to keep as souvenirs. Oh. That was before the whole, you know, nature conservation movement of the 60s, basically. Hey, Callie, it's bacon. Potato chips make me hungry. So do you guys like turn off the lights in here at night, like when everybody goes home or what? Yeah, all the lights turn off by themselves at a certain time, I think like 9.30, something like that. We might, so have, we to see, we might have to see if we can leave Norm down here. That'd be awesome. That would be awesome. Wait a minute. What's that noise? The waterfall. Sweet. We've arrived. Uh oh, Micah. I'm scared. It's very dark and scary in here. It is very dark and scary. It's okay though. It's also getting loud. Yes, the waterfall is very loud. How far should I go? I feel like I'm about to fall in it or something here. Ah, uh, we got like another 20 feet. We're good. You know, uh, when I said that it was nice and comfortable temperature-wise in here, I take all that back. It's freezing here. Yeah, it's, it's kind of windy and chilly through here. But all I hear is this giant, it actually makes my heart kind of race. The, I just hear this huge thundering waterfall in front of me, and it's freaky because it's totally pitch black in here. What we usually do is bring everybody in a big group like in here and pitch, back, pitch black, rather, yep. and then we have the big reveal.
Oh my God, look at this. That is amazing. It's amazing, 145 feet tall. How much water is running through this thing on a daily basis, you think? Uh, it's roughly 300 gallons a minute. Wow, that's the average. It is absolutely spectacular. Are there any other waterfalls in the middle of mountains that you know of? Uh, there's actually 11 that they know of in this mountain. In 11, this, 11 in this mountain? 11 underground waterfalls in this mountain. There's at least two in this cave that they know of besides this one. Wow, that is amazing. There. Oh. Wow, well thanks for bringing me to show it, oh, show it welcome. to me and to the rest of the crew absolutely. here. Fantastic, I guess we gotta make our way out now. Right, I don't wanna go, but I am a little bit cold. Yeah, it is a little chilly. Let's get out of here. Hey guys, check it out. It's the extra 1,000 feet of cave that no one's supposed to go in. Let's check it out. 